To find the problem, follow the money. New Jersey expected to hit a $160 million jackpot from online gaming. Instead, it flatlined at less than $10 million. Residents earning less money in the struggling economy paid less income tax, just half of what the state projected. That's why, in part, Standard & Poor's claims Governor Christie's budget isn't really balanced. It relies on money that doesn't materialize. Democrats pounced. We're predicting higher income tax projections than, say, Manhattan. Um, and you don't think that's realistic? I don't believe that's realistic. Neither does Standard & Poor's. Its prime bond rating is AAA, extremely strong. New Jersey was rated AA minus, still a very strong evaluation, but S&P downgraded that to A plus. As Standard & Poor's John Sugden explains, there's increased pressure uh, in terms of balancing their budgets and being able to. Uh, better align their revenues and their, their expenditures. S&P says New Jersey's budget liabilities include a revenue gap it pegs at $786 million, a staggering debt load, $35 to $36 billion, and one-shot cash infusions like the $92 million from the Tobacco Settlement Fund. It's costing you more to borrow uh, long-term capital dollars. For road projects and things like that? Road projects, school construction, um, any long-term facility needs. In town hall meetings, Governor Christie explains what he calls New Jersey's biggest liability. It can't afford pension and health benefits. Because you're going to have to tell somebody who thought they were getting X that they're getting X minus. And nobody wants to hear that. And it's the taxpayers who are funding a big portion of the pension obligation here. And we have to think about them because those very people are out in the private sector, not getting anywhere near the benefits they are having to fund for public sector employees. I think we're going to be uh, before the deadline. We'll have a budget to be introduced at the legislature and have it passed. Governor Christie's take, he says the standard and poor's downgrade just underscores what he's been saying all along, that it's time for the legislature to come to grips with reality. But what's going to get cut out of the budget? The devil's in the details. In Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.